Hey guys, it's Jesse here from the BSL. Celebrating uh, 4th of July holiday, Friday, headed off. Cheers. America's oldest brewery right here for uh, little founding fathers. No, so we're talking uh, Waffen Dare Whisker, guys. We've talked about this for four weeks. This is the fourth week now. Um, it's a great oil. So here you go, Waffen Dare Whisker. It's your bottle right there, Crafter Matt Beaton. Um, guys, he makes a hell of a product. I've talked about it. I've worn it for weeks. This is exclusively the only one I've put in. Um, ran his balm for a week. Everything about it I love. Um, your ingredients. You got your apricot kernel, coconut, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, and then either a combination of fragrances and or essential oils. Um, fragrance oils, I know we've said it before, you know, there's a lot of stigma towards them. They dry your beard, they're not good for you, all that fun stuff. Uh, Matt Beaton uses alcohol fragrant or alcohol free fragrance oils, guys, so you're not going to get that drying. It's not going to be bad for your skin, not going to be bad for your hair. All it means is you're going to smell really good for a lot, a lot longer. Um, you don't get any of the benefits from the essential oils, but sometimes you just want to smell good, right? Um, and you've got a couple oils that'll do just that. Um, your, your cool, uh, your beer 2 smells kind of like cool water. You've got uh, Fifty Shades of Beard, it's a real dark, manly, musky kind of cologne smell. Those are good. Not my favorite, but they're good. Um, we are going to talk about my favorite oils a little bit later, but I just want to remind you guys uh, what this oil is. You get this nice, you know, big one ounce bottle to spray top, which is sweet. Uh, it's weird to use at first, I'll be honest. I'm used to the iPod method, which I prefer, but it, it's definitely better. You don't have to worry about dropping your oil down the sink, and that's awesome. It, it definitely ensures your investment in the product. Uh, so, the two ingredients that I really like you know, you've got your jojoba and your coconut oil. We know what those are, we know what those are good for. Um, apricot kernel, great for strengthening the hair at the roots. Uh, for me, apricot kernel tends to make my beard really fluffy and really curly. Um, so I don't like to wear this oil on its own. I usually like to add a balm. I'd help straighten it out and weigh it down a little bit more. Uh, hemp seed, awesome for straightening your hair, or strengthening your hair. And it's awesome for giving your beard a really nice shine. That's the one thing I love about this, guys. When I wear it, my beard feels nice and thick. It's got a nice shine, it's got a nice dark look to it. <laughs> Um, so if you want that, you know that's what you want. Um, so we'll talk about my four fairies, because that's something I, I haven't mentioned in doing these reviews. I've talked about the oils, I've talked about the, the um, balm a little bit. Uh, basically, it's just beeswax, shea butter, and his proprietary blend that I told you about. Um, and we've talked about, you know, what I like about the apricot kernel, what I like about the hemp, and all that stuff. I haven't talked to you guys about my favorite ones that I've experienced, and we'll get into those today. That's what we'll break down just to kind of <clears throat> wrap it up. I seem a little more awkward just because my wife's out here sitting down and I know she's judging me and laughing at me, but that's fine. She can suck it. And because my wife's out here, we'll start with my favorite one. The one that she absolutely loves. If I can find it. Which one is it? It's right here. The one I'm showing you guys. Old Northwest Blend. Right there. It's a scent for the Beard Club. Oh, Beard's the Old Northwest. Uh, crafted for them. It's their scent. It's a club scent. Uh, it's frankincense and myrrh. Uh, so it smells real nice. Uh, incense -y smell. It's... Smell, to, to me, it reminds me of a tattoo shop. That's kind of what I, for some reason, that's what I think of when I smell it. You know, real, real gritty, rough parlor, uh, tattoo parlor. It's sweet. Um, her favorite oil, the only beard oil I've ever worn that's made her crazy. I uh, can't keep her hands off me when I wear it. She's rolling her eyes right now. It's true. Every time I've worn this, guaranteed. Uh, so, yeah, you want that? Just one right there. Check it out. Um, Woodshed. Another one of my big favorites. I love this stuff. Blends real well. Uh, if you're a multiple product user like I am, it blends real well with, uh, say, Roughnecks Beard Batter. That's a nice woodsy lemony scent. This is a nice, real strong woodsy, uh, like, kind of cedar. It smells like Stetson. That's what I, it reminds me of. Um, my dad wore Stetson when I was growing up, so it's kind of comforting. Uh, but that's what it smells like. It's a nice cedar wood cowboy smell. It's, it's fantastic. Um, Woodshed. It's another, another favorite. Uh, Tiki Beard. It's another one I love. It's coconut, rum, and mango. Uh, you combine this with a nice lime balm. Uh, it smells like a fucking drink on the beach, guys. This is this is what I wore all day yesterday. I had me pumped for vacation. I wanted to come home, throw on board shorts, and sit in a pool. I don't have a pool. I don't live on the beach. I live in Cleveland. Uh, so I was stuck just smelling good, and I didn't get any of the benefits of vacation. I got today off. That's about it. Uh, but no, so there you go. Tiki beard. It's a nice unisex scent. Uh, ladies, you'd like it too. It's a, it's a coconut, mango, and rum. It's a little fruity. Not gay fruity, but fruity. Uh, and it's... You know, coconut and rum. It's manly. It's beachy. It's vacation-y. Uh, another one of my favorites is un Unreleased. 
Uh, I believe we're going with the name Barbershop for it. It's bergamot and uh, basil. It's a nice peppery, spicy smell. A little cologne, a little, little barbershop be real masculine, but not, doesn't smell like a cologne. Uh, and that's actually the scent that he's got for his balm, and it's absolutely fantastic, guys. Uh, so check it out. Matt Beaton makes a hell of a product, guys. Like I said, exclusively, this is what I've worn for four weeks, and I've loved every minute of it. Never noticed a dry beard, never noticed a crappy beard day. Um, combines well with just about every balm I've used, and I've used a lot of them. Um, I've definitely mixed it up. Last all day, you smell phenomenal. You look great. Your beard has a nice, healthy shine to it. Uh, and it's going to feel thick and, and, and lush, and for me, curly, because of the apricot kernel. Uh, so check it out. Whisker Oil. It's Whisker with two R's. Whiskeroil.storeenvy.com. Check it out. His prices are great. He's a great dude. Um, and yeah, I promise you guys won't be disappointed in the product. Uh, everyone I talk to loves them. Uh, there's a scent for just about everybody out there. So check it out. Buy a bottle. It's good stuff. It's not cheap. It's not expensive. It's well, very fairly priced for what you get. And you're not going to be disappointed. Check out his balm when that comes out because that's great stuff. It's his oil just mixed with wax and butter. And it just it feels like you're just wearing a really heavy oil basically to help tame the beard. It's top notch. I love it. I love everything about this product. I promise you guys will too. Whiskeroil.storeenvy.com. Enjoy your holiday, guys.